Today we're going to be looking at my first attempt to do some screen printing. <laughs> Let's take a peek at what I got set up here. I did some uh, artwork on the old uh, Mac there. Went to Office Max and had it printed out on a transparency. And uh, I had to have it printed in two pieces because it was too big to fit on one. And the genius at uh, Office Max printed them at different scales. He did like a scale to fit. So uh, if we line that up over there, see how that works? Yeah. So basically what I had to do was piece these two together. Thankfully I was smart enough to just get this whole circle on one image and then I did uh, the flames, you know, sort of up above there. So I just cut the flames off of that one and glued them onto this one because this one had, uh, let's call it partial flames. There we go. The flames were cut off there. So you can see that's where the stencil sort of ended. So anyway, I've got that and uh, I bought a screen and wouldn't you believe this just barely, I mean, just barely fits on that screen. So I'm hoping I can get it good enough that it'll fit on, <laughs> fit in there. First thing I'm going to do, there we go, let's turn it so you guys can see it, is uh, mix these two together. So the first thing the instructions say to do, and this feels empty. I'd swear it was empty and it has a big message on it. This bottle is not empty. So um, this is the sensitizer and it goes in here and it makes this stuff work so uh, I guess you're supposed to fill it up oh yeah it's green what does it say fill bottle half full mix well add entire contents to the uh, photo emulsion so we're gonna fill this up half full with water and uh, here we go I'm not sure how I'll know that it's half full but uh, that's getting close and it says mix well, so we're going to put the cap on here and do a dance. And then you're supposed to mix these two together. So here we go. Here goes nothing. In you go, buddy. And uh, we might just put a little bit more water in this guy. I might have been a little under halfway. We'll put a little water in there just to get all the goody out of it. I don't know if it makes any difference. There we go. Stupendous. We'll use a little carpenter pencil action here. Hopefully we won't have any uh, adverse reaction with the lead. We'll give it a good stir up. Oh yeah, very pasty. Very pasty. And you're supposed to refrigerate this stuff. It'll last for four months after you use it, after you uh, do this step, if you refrigerate it. If you don't refrigerate it, it'll last about a week. So. Uh, and they say to wear gloves anytime you're doing photographic stuff. I used to do some amateur uh, photo lab stuff growing up. You know, uh, you always want to wear the gloves because this uh, light sensitive material will usually turn your hands colors and it doesn't go away for a couple weeks if you get it on there. I would suspect this stuff is no different. So I've got a printing doodad here. I don't have the magic filler machine thingy. So uh, what I'm going to do is sort of uh, put some of this crap on here. Uh, I don't know how, but uh, maybe like that. And uh, just kind of get some on. And I'm going to use this dude. And we're going to just sort of do like so. And yeah. Just trying to get her on there, nice and easy. Now we'll, now that we're toward the edge, we'll kind of tip her back and uh, see if we can get her nice and even. Okay, then the deal is we do the other side. a little bit more emulsion on there just you know just for giggles
Okay, and you want to leave it, what did they say? Leave it on the print side. So the last one we're going to do is squeegee off the far side. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're coated nice on this side. And uh, I'm going to get those little drips there because those could become problematic. There we go. Then we'll do one last pass over here. But that's where I think I'm going to leave her. So uh, I got one more little one and I'm going to let it dry uh, like this, this way uh, in the bathroom where it's dark. The screen's dry. I let it dry for about two hours with a fan on it. And my understanding is you sort of just do that until it's not sticky anymore. Uh, so it's not sticky anymore. And I kind of laid this down. I put the black construction paper on it. I had it in a dark bathroom with the door closed. And uh, just laying this down, making sure I got it all in the right spot. So uh, I'm going to set that off to the side. We're going to take this thing up. And uh, the directions tell me something like seven minutes of exposure. So we're going to sort of make haste here and uh, get this guy on and in position. So we want to go emulsion to emulsion is what they say. So this will be this side and I'm getting as close as I can to set up there and do one more and then actually just get it off. Okay, so emulsion to emulsion. We're going to set our stuff. Okay, we're going to start right there I think. Emulsion. So we'll side to side there. There's something good today. And, we'll stuff. and maybe give it a couple pieces of tape here. Let's just go... Uh, one, two, so we're not going to tape that, but what we are going to do is we're going to throw this over it, and I need to move the camera now. Okay, so I've got a light source here that is a fluorescent and an incandescent bulb, so it's uh, quite a few watts there, and I'm just going to hold this down. Uh, they want like uh, seven to ten minutes, so I'm going to look at the clock over there. And uh, I'm going to stand just like this for 7 to 10 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Well, I didn't lie. There we are. It's 28 now. We started at 16, so I gave her 12 minutes because I wasn't sure about the wattage here. The book said 7 minutes at 150 watts, and uh, I have a feeling we're not at 150 watts. And a guy online said 12 minutes at something else. I don't know. So uh, yeah, we just let her bake. So uh, we'll take all this stuff off here. I can see the KC in it. Um, let's see if we can see this guy. Can't really. Oh man, this might be an epic fail. I can see a little bit of detail. Uh, let's see. Yep. Anyway, uh, we'll get to washing this out. Oh yeah, you can see a little detail. So I'm gonna wash it out. I don't know how much of this is gonna be visible because it is dark outside. But uh, you can see a little bit of it coming out. I'm just using hose water here. And it looks to be washing out pretty well. So there's our, yeah, there's our KC. So uh, I'm just going to continue with this and wash it for a few minutes here. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good results. So there's a peek at the screen. Uh, I wasn't sure there were some iffy spots on the screen, so I just used some masking tape and covered them up. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not, but that's what I did. So uh, we're going to get to printing the first shirt and see what happens. Some white. Uh, this is Permaset. Uh, I've also got some speedball stuff. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll use this. I don't know how much of this to use.
couple little boo-boos there. That's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, definitely could have done better pushing the ink through there. I could see where it stuck. Didn't quite get on the shirt, but that's pretty cool for, uh, for sort, of, sort of the first go around there. Mm -hmm. Do a little heat set here. So this is kind of the final step. No steam on this. Just kind of hot. Well, that's it for this one. Check it out. Check it out. Came out all right. Had a little little stickiness here, and uh, up around the cab a little bit. Maybe even up in the flame here. And I did not heat set where I have my boo boos, uh, which were over here. I think there's one up there. So I just didn't go over that with the iron. Hopefully those will wash out. And uh, I did wash that guy out with. Uh, water outside kind of gave it the spray over and scrub down so that it's ready for next time and uh, it's looking good uh, that is a 10 by 14 by the way if you want to know uh, that size right there 10 by 14 is big enough for that guy and I probably went too close to the edge on that but you know things happen so uh, that's it for this particular episode don't want your meatloaf